When I came to this village, it was hard to get into direct contact with the women. Like usual here in the country, they're only allowed to go out of the house when accompanied by their husband, eldest son or mother-in-law. The only place you could meet women on their own was in the hammam, the Turkish bath. So it was at the hammam that Jamila Idburus and the village women secretly made the plans which were to change their lives. But their story really begins here, with the argam tree. Known as Argania spinosa, the tree is endemic to southern Morocco. It doesn't grow anywhere else in the world. Every other year, the tree bears fruit, whose kernels are used to make argan oil. The women must collect 30 to 50 kilos of fruit, the yield from seven trees, to produce one litre of oil. They can't pick the fruit straight from the tree as it has sharp thorns. It's a painstaking process. Everything is done by hand and in Berber culture it has long been considered women's work. Producing argan oil is an age-old tradition. Yet much has changed since Jamila Idburus began her secret meetings with local women in the Hammam a decade ago. Jamila is a Berber herself, but first and foremost, she's a businesswoman. The idea was to create a co-op, so the women are not producing the oil on their own, but rather making it together. They congregate here. But the best thing is, by pooling their resources, they finally have enough oil to be able to market it. Berbers have been making argan oil since the 13th century, and the method has changed very little. Argan fruit contains a nut with a hard shell. A polished stone and lots of skill are used to crack it open. The kernels inside are then ground with a stone mill. This can take hours. It takes a woman a day or two to produce one litre of oil. She gets around 25 euros for it, but a litre sells for up to 10 times that amount in Germany. Still, Jamila negotiated a good price. 1,300 women from 23 different co-ops currently supply her with oil. A worldwide distribution network is being set up. Each year, some 50,000 litres are shipped to Europe, Canada, the US, Japan and South Korea. But argan oil has even greater potential. At the Souk El Ahad market in Agadir, vendors sell honey, soap, lotion and spreads, all made with argan oil. Researchers are now analyzing these Berber products, whose recipes have been handed down through the centuries. Zubida Charouf, a professor at Morocco's largest university in Rabat, has made some amazing discoveries. We've been able to confirm some effects scientifically, notably that the oil has a hydrating effect on the skin. The oil contains a very high concentration of unsaturated fatty acids, so it provides a lot of moisture. It's also been proven to have an anti-aging effect due to its high concentration of tocopherols, which are, in effect, antioxidants. Argan oil contains practically three times as much vitamin E as olive oil. But the oil is not just used in cosmetics. Scientists have already discovered that it can help fight cardiovascular disease. Studies are currently underway to test the oil's effectiveness in preventing cancer. International companies have already registered over 40 patents involving argan oil, but Morocco has seen little benefit. Now the government there is creating laws to ensure that the country profits from such patents in future. The Berber women are oblivious to what the pharmaceutical and cosmetic companies make with their oil, but the money they receive has completely changed their lives. They're now financially independent and often earn more than their husbands. That's increased the women's self-confidence. 
Many now want to learn how to read and write. Almost half of all Moroccans are illiterate, and the literacy rates among rural women are even higher. The cooperative now employs a teacher. We women are completely different than we were a decade ago. Back then we were illiterate and naive. Through the co-op, we've learned a lot and gone to school. Now we're able to communicate and negotiate with anyone. It's about more than just earning money. Our very identities have changed. With their income, the women send their children to school. Or they shop for things without having to ask their husbands for money. The women have also established a tree nursery. The argan seedlings need to be specially nurtured as rainfall is unreliable in Morocco. And these women's independence is reliant on the survival of the argan trees. In 10 years time, these trees are expected to bear fruit for the first time. They're an investment in the future.